von Willebrand factor is a blood glycoprotein involved in hemostases. It is deficient or defective in von Willebrand disease and is involved in a large number of other diseases, including thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura, Hyde's syndrome, and possibly hemolytic uremic syndrome. Increased plasma levels in a large number of cardiovascular, neoplastic, and connective tissue diseases are presumed to arise from adverse changes to the endothelium, and may contribute to an increased risk of thrombosis. Biochemistry, synthesis, VWF is a large multimeric glycoprotein present in blood plasma and produced constitutively as ultra-large VWF in endothelium, megacaryocytes, and subendothelial connective tissue. Structure, the basic VWF monomer is a 2050 amino acid protein. Every monomer contains a number of specific domains with a specific function. Elements of note are, the D-D3 domain, which binds to factor 8, the A1 domain, which binds to, platelet GPIB receptor, heparin, possibly collagen. The A3 domain, which binds to collagen, the C1 domain in which the RGD domain binds to platelet integrin I plus or minus E by squared 3 when this is activated, the cystian knot domain, which VWF shares with platelet-derived growth factor, transforming growth factor I squared and I squared human chorionic gonadotropin. Monomers are subsequently N-glucosylated, arranged into dimers in the endoplasmic reticulum and into multimers in the Golgi apparatus by cross-linking of cystian residues via disulfide bonds. With respect to the glycosylation, VWF is one of only a few proteins that carry ABO blood group system antigens. Multimers of VWF can be extremely large, 20,000 kDa, and consist of over 80 subunits of 250 kDa each. Only the large multimers are functional. Some cleavage products that result from VWF production are also secreted but probably serve no function. Function Von Willebrand factor's primary function is binding to other proteins, in particular factor VIII, and it is important in platelet adhesion to wound sites. It is not an enzyme and, thus, has no catalytic activity. VWF binds to a number of cells and molecules. The most important ones are, factor VIII is bound to VWF while inactive in circulation. Factor VIII degrades rapidly when not bound to VWF. Factor VIII is released from VWF by the action of thromin. VWF binds to collagen, for example, when it is exposed in endothelial cells due to damage occurring to the blood vessel. VWF binds to platelet GPIB when it forms a complex with GPIX and GPV. This binding occurs under all circumstances, but is most efficient under high shear stress. VWF binds to other platelet receptors when they are activated for example, by thromin. VWF plays a major role in blood coagulation. Therefore, VWF deficiency or dysfunction leads to a bleeding tendency, which is most apparent in tissues having high blood flow shear in narrow vessels. From studies it appears that VWF uncoils under these circumstances, decelerating passing platelets. Calcium enhances the refolding rate of VWF A2 domain, allowing the protein to act as a shear force sensor. Catabolism, the biological breakdown of VWF is largely mediated by the enzyme ADAMTS13. It is a metalloproteinase that cleaves VWF between tyrosine at position 842 and methanine at position 843 in the A2 domain. This breaks down the multimers into smaller units, which are degraded by other peptidases. Role in disease Hereditary or acquired defects of VWF lead to von Willebrand disease, a bleeding diathesis of the skin and mucous membranes, causing nosebleeds, menorrhagia, and gastrointestinal bleeding. The point at which the mutation occurs determines the severity of the bleeding diathesis. There are three types, and type 2 is further divided in several subtypes. Treatment depends on the nature of the abnormality and the severity of the symptoms. Most cases of VWD are hereditary, but abnormalities of VWF may be acquired. Aortic valve stenosis, for instance, has been linked to VWD type IIA, causing gastrointestinal bleeding, 
an association known as Hyde's syndrome. In thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura and hemolytic uremic syndrome, ADAMTS-30 neither is deficient or has been inhibited by antibodies directed at the enzyme. This leads to decreased breakdown of the ultra-large multimers of VWF and microangiopathic hemolytic anemia with deposition of fibrin and platelets in small vessels, and capillary necrosis. In TTP, the organ most obviously affected is the brain. In HUS, the kidney. Higher levels of VWF are more common among people that have had ischemic stroke for the first time. Occurrence is not affected by ADAMTS-13, and the only significant genetic factor is the person's blood group. History, VWF is named after Dr. Eric von Willebrand, a Finnish doctor who in 1924 first described a hereditary bleeding disorder in families from the A-Land Islands, who had a tendency for cutaneous and mucosal bleeding, including menorrhagia. Although von Willebrand could not identify the definite cause, he distinguished von Willebrand disease from haemophilia and other forms of bleeding diathesis. In the 1950s, VWD was shown to be caused by a plasma factor deficiency, and, in the 1970s, the VWF protein was purified. Interactions Von Willebrand factor has been shown to interact with collagen, type I, alpha 1. See also, Von Willebrand disease, Bernard Saulia syndrome, references. External links, gene reviews NIHUW entry on Von Willebrand factor deficiency. Includes, type 1 Von Willebrand disease, type 2A Von Willebrand disease, type 2B Von Willebrand disease, type 2M Von Willebrand disease. Type 2N von Willebrand disease, Type 3 von Willebrand disease.